So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel you probably heard about the Xiaomi E's latest update which is based on MIUI 12.5 is now released for a lot of devices which includes these new features you can simply swipe between the control center and the notification panel these are some interesting features which you get in the latest Xiaomi EU beta version in my case, I'm using this Xiaomi EU beta version on my Redmi Note 8 which is MIUI 12.5 by Xiaomi EU 21.3.10 beta version which I'm using on Redmi Note 8 so yes it's based on official Android version 11 it's not Android version 10 for some of the devices it's based on Android version 10 also like Redmi Note 7 and Redmi Note 7 Pro but for other devices it's available as an Android version 11 base build it comes with the latest March security patch and which includes this new kind of navigation bar pill and some things like that new recent panel you probably already know about all those features but I'm just gonna share with you some little bit of stuff regarding this let's get started it comes with floating windows new animations everything new which you were expecting in the MIUI 12.5 update you might get this kind of MIUI 12.5 update globally also but maybe with less features let me show you some things about this latest thing and as you can see the smoothness in my redmi note 8 the smoothness is looking quite good you have this new kind of cat controls options available which you get in only android version 11 it's not available for the android version 10 users i'm just gonna remove this card i don't need this anymore so just remove this and as i previously told you can simply switch between the notification panel and the control center without any kind of issues you don't need to swipe from right or left for example if i swipe from left down you if i left if i swipe down from the left side i can still swipe from between this notification panel and the control center if you're looking for other things let me share with you as you can see you have almost all those xiaomi eu icons apps are updated now you can install and i try to install some apps and use for some time the battery backup seems to be nice also decent battery backup you can see the camera sector has almost same kind of features but if you compare it with the miui 12 kind of things in this redmi note 8 especially you have this new ui as you can see we include includes the google lens options also if you go for the settings some features were already present there for example if i go and check out some other things video mode we have the pro mode where we have the 48 megapixel options available and if you don't know what this pro mode option is you can simply click on this i button and you have the pro features uh, explanation actually we have all those options available what this feature can do on your device so these are some interesting things i got in this camera version if you go for the more option we have the time lapse slow motion etc but with the new ui as you can see which was expected in MIUI 12.5 if you talk about the MIUI 12.5 update you will get all those features and as you can see the feature will download slow motion etc time lapse and a lot more things which you could expect in this latest MIUI 12.5 update on a year device the camera quality sector seems to be good enough also and yes if we talk about some other things as i told you the smoothness is looking quite good if you compare it with the previous builds the previous builds were good that in this build like this in xiaomi you, you don't get any kind of blot waves as you can see no ads and nothing else and including that if you go for the theme store it also comes with the third party theme store third party themes support you can simply move on to themes options you have the option to import the themes if you want to very easily but including that we also have the best thing is it comes with the chinese theme store if you go for the home we have the chinese theme store option available this is not the global one this is not the indian one in the global and indian theme store it's been quite difficult to search for the mu 12 or mu 12.5 supported themes but in chinese theme store we have all those themes available and like that if you go for this import option you can simply import the third party themes as an mtz file for example i have this ios theme option already available you can simply import this theme and it will be imported successfully and you can install this on your device without any kind of issues i'm not going to apply this right now i will make a video on this separate video on this kind of thing on my hindi channel so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe that channel also so you'll get this ios theme link there and this theme is actually available in the theme store indian or global theme store but not available in the chinese one so in chinese one we needed to import that that's why i have imported that theme also in this latest new 12.5 update we already know that the wallpaper and personalization section the new wallpapers options available in top we have theme option we have the super wallpaper support 
like this if you go for the super wallpapers we also include the latest weather super wallpaper which will change according to your location weather for example if i apply this so let me just show you like right now we have the haze option available as you can see the weather is hazy now so that's why the the wallpaper is also looking kind of this and if your weather is clear you will see the new kind of weather there weather wallpaper there so this is a very interesting feature and new super wallpaper which was expected it's available it's present there also including that system wide variable fonts and font boldness which you can simply adjust if you want to and i always use the bold fonts mostly so that's where these options are available here and also comes with the icon pack support so this miui miui 12.5 update has a lot of features if you compare it with the miui 12 if you go for the styles yes we have the option to customize the new styles if you want to ringtones notifications alarms and at last we have the themes options available too if you move on to the ringtones options yes we have these option new ui available here and there also everywhere there is a new ui which was expected in the miui 12.5 update and including that if you go for the lock screen the best thing is display charging animation after a device is unlocked which was not available in the miui 12 and maybe it was not available and actually it's not available in the android version 10 also it's only available in the android version 11 i think so i'm not sure about that but maybe and if you go for the display settings we have the brightness level but we don't have the option of night mode brightness controls which was available in some other builds but in this build it's not available there so this is the thing which you need to keep in mind including that sound assistant which is a very interesting feature of android version 11 it just media sound in multiple apps and multiple audio sources which i also use on my device sometimes do not disturb mode additional settings also includes the boot audio which is the only thing which you get in the miu 12.5's additional settings in miu 12 you don't get boot audio but in miu 12.5 you have the boot audio you can get this boot audio on Mi 12 also if you want i can make a video on that one too this is a control center which you can simply enable or disable and the thing let me share with you which i got in xiaomi eu for example as you can see this is the control center right now in my hands as you can see it has the option to switch the control center side let me show you by default the by default if you move this this is the control center you get here swipe you will see the notification panel like this if i choose this switch control center side option now you can see there's, there's a notification panel there but if i swipe right and swipe left the swipe options are not changed even if you have changed the switch control center side if you have chosen the switch control center side the swipe options are not changed so this is of course not a bug but this is a thing which i noticed after installing this build on my device let me show you some editing things which you get here for example i just click this photo and let me show you some editing things editing options which you get in this latest update for example if you click on edit we have the beautify crop and we also get the filters option there's a sky filter classic portrait movie a lot more options available in the editing so the editing seems to be different and interesting one in this build which seems to be good we have the adjust sky as i previously told you evening night dynamic we also have the option of supporting the doodle text and the frame frame one option is good you can only get this feature in pixart but now we don't need pixart anymore so these were the things i just wanted to let you know the link for this build is in the description for all of the supported devices thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day